graded exposure. Step-by-step -step plans are an evidence-based approach and an effective way of helping child anxiety. It can help children boost confidence and reduce anxiety in many types of situations. Parents can have a key role in supporting and working with their child through the step-by-step -step plan as you are there 24-7. Your child might be tempted to avoid situations that make them feel anxious. And over time, parents can allow their children to avoid these situations. Some situations your child might want to be able to be in and others they might need to be in. Allowing your child to repeatedly avoid a situation tells their brain that the situation is dangerous and unsafe, that they should feel anxiety in that situation and that they would not be able to cope. See video about fight, flight, freeze to hear more about this. Step-by-step -step plans are also known as graded exposure and can help in many situations. Part 1. What situation does my child want to build their confidence with? In what situations is anxiety getting in the way? This could be something like building confidence with independent play, sleeping on their own, speaking to strangers, travelling to school independently or putting the hand up in class. Any situation where anxiety is getting in the way but the situation is not actually a real danger. Pick something together that feels important to them. Part 2. Different ways that they can face their fear. Together, come up with as many possible ideas for how they could face their fear and write them down. For example, travelling to school independently. Ideas for facing this fear could include looking at a bus timetable, walking to the bus stop, going on the bus one stop with a parent, then going one stop on their own. Part 3. Ask your child to rate each idea. Ask them to predict from 0 to 10 how much anxiety each step will bring. You could also ask them if they think anything bad would happen if they were going to do that step. But try not to reassure. Part 4. Put your chosen ideas in order from low predicted anxiety to high predicted anxiety. This forms what we call our graded exposure hierarchy, step-by-step -step plan or exposure ladder. Part 5. Putting it in action. Start with the easier step. Your child does this until they are confident with it. This means they may need to repeat it over a day or few days. Once they are confident with that step, move to the next, and then the next, and then the next. Before long, they will have worked through the ladder. You probably won't believe how far you've both come. Soon, they might be facing situations that seem so hard at the beginning with real confidence. Research has shown over time this is one of the best ways to reduce anxiety and build confidence. Final tips. If a step is too hard right now, pick an easier one or adjust to make it a bit easier for this step. Come up with a reward plan. A small agreed reward for each step or a point system for each step with a bigger reward at the end. This will help with motivation. Check that the thing you are working on is right for their age and consider any additional needs. For example, some young people have sensory sensitivities to noise so we wouldn't expose them to loud places. This wouldn't help, it would just make them upset if it is an underlying or permanent difficulty. Facing fears can be scary for you and your child so regularly remind yourself of the end goal. and how different your life will be once you are both confident with those steps. You can make a step-by-step -step plan for many different situations. Good luck!